Now this is Ellen Thompson here. In case this happens to be your first time, make sure to like and subscribe. Now Ellen Thompson here recently um she sent a very shocking message to whoever it may consign. So in case this happens to be your first time before I continue, make sure to like and subscribe. You know one thing I love about Ellen Thompson here is the fact that she always bounces back. Yes. Whether um no matter her setback she's going to bounce back and i feel like everybody should learn from this amazing woman and i know a lot of people are doubting um the possibility of ellen thompson Hira coming back in tokyo championship 2025 right and dominating a lot of people are kind of feeling like she doesn't really have what it takes Considering the fact that Shelly and Face of Rise will be there, Shakeri will be there, Julian Alfred, the new queen of track and field. Yes, a lot of people are already co calling um Julian Alfred the queen of track and field. So it is, what it is. but trust me, I am not writing off um Ellen Thompson here, right? and I will never write her off. I believe she will be back um 2025, and she's going to shock the world because she is yet to have a gold medal in a world athletic championship so if she can successfully clinch a gold medal in a world athletic championship it will it's gonna be amazing right it's gonna be exciting and i really cannot wait next year is gonna be it's going to be what we have been waiting for i was expecting paris olympic to be exciting as I was prayed because earlier before the Paris Olympic we were predicting that Paris Olympic is gonna be the biggest match in the entire female track and field history but unfortunately the Jamaicans spoiled the fun um, I'm not gonna completely blame the Jamaican Queens it is not also their fault right life happens we do not have control over things that happen to us so the jamaican queens were so unfortunate it was more like a disaster right it was more like a disaster because both shelly sharika and ellen thompson era they all could not make it to the paris olympic so this picture you're seeing on your screen is ellen thompson era recently she unveiled this picture on her instagram account now tell me how she's looking is she looking gorgeous because it has been a while she posted a picture on instagram this picture happens to be ellen thompson here at latest picture on instagram and i think she's looking beautiful she's looking stunning she's looking admirable now um let's talk about something that has been bothering me because i feel like people are not really giving ellen thompson here a collade i think she deserves the title of the greatest of all time but people don't want to give her that accolade because they have this narrative that um flojo flojo from the united states of america and um may her so rest in peace they believe she has um she is much more better um, and she deserves the title of the GOAT more than Ellen Thompson Hira. The reason is because she is the fastest, she has the fastest time in the 100 meters. Ellen Thompson Hira, on the other hand, the, the only difference is she has um, the fastest time alive. Now, without wasting much of your time, let's go straight to the main title of this video which is Ellen Thompson Hira having a message now this is the message that Ellen Thompson Hira has um, so Ellen Thompson Hira went on her Instagram account and she said I am in love with what is healthy I am in love with what is grown what is mature and what leads to peace now re let me repeat the message that Ellen Thompson Hira said she said I am in love with what is healthy I am in love with what is grown, what is mature, and what leads to peace. 
and i feel like the reason why she said this is because she has really grown up um from where she used to be um probably maybe before she used to mind um the way people um criticize her but now she no longer have time for the naysayers for the gossipers and the ru rumors spe uh, spreaders because people out there always want to mess with Ellen Thompson Hira's mental health yes they will go on creating lies creating stories that Ellen Thompson Hira herself know nothing about and this is kind of the lifestyle that celebrities like big celebrities like Shelly Ellen and others faced in their day-to-day -day activities they are always heavily criticized everything they do um is being reported off and on social media which is quite mental drain and that was why tebogo um recently he became popular in his country botswana and he started complaining that he doesn't know how to deal with um becoming famous that he is really really scared because he can no longer live his normal life and also julian alfred herself made a complaint recently that whenever she came to social media it always make her sad so imagine what ellen shelly and sherika have been going through for a while now it must be it must have been mental draining and we the fans the only thing we know is this athlete have to run they have to run they have to run forgetting that at the end of the day they are human beings just like we are so i feel like we need to take it easy on this athlete because at the end of the day these are people who are just they have blood in their body they drink water we drink water almost everything they do we all, all we also do it so why do we find it um exciting or fun to always um criticize them drag them if they fail to compete or perform the way we want it to be which is actually sad right so the only thing i think we can do for this athlete is literally pray for them and i really cannot wait to see ellie in 2025 in tokyo championship do you believe she's gonna make it do you believe next year is gonna be the year ellen thompson here will prove to the world that she is the greatest of all time do you believe in that anyway um let me hear your opinion about this whole situation and also do not forget to like and subscribe um to my youtube channel thank you